Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 3. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today we are starting a brand new farm. We're just farming the God Roll Skull Masher. The Jacob Skull Masher is a sniper rifle that fires multiple projectiles, and that's super good with my flak. For parts, we're going to be pretty picky. We're going to be going for barrel number three, and we're going to have to get two of these three rolls. You can roll two of these three parts, where you're going to want to get two of them. Doesn't matter if it's crit or if it's regular damage. Magazine size, I'm not going to be picky any magazine size so the god roll number is not going to be correct because we're probably not going to be getting this plus 10 percent damage we can get any magazine size here scope we want the scope number two 6x zoom with the crit damage for our stock we're going to want stock number three for 10 percent damage and for our foregrip we're going to go for either crit damage foregrip three or or foregrip four for the extra damage and minus sway that brings our total odds to 1 in 257. The Skull Master drops 50% of the time from the Tink of Cunning, the final boss from the Trial of Cunning. For my build, I've gone ahead and I've preloaded my Lucky 7 here with Corrosive Damage, Lucky 7, and Automatic Crits. We're rocking Action Skill Start Revolter for Mega Tryharding, Stackbot, and the Terrifying Generation Grenade. We're going to be going for Max Ammo Regeneration on our Lucky 7, and going for One Shots. Right now I have no pet out at all because the pet can reset your stack bot according to Loot Lemon. And honestly, I might want to turn off the event that I have active right now because that will slow me down considerably. Having to shoot ghosts every time is going to be make the game a lot harder, but it will give us bonus loot. So it, it is something that can be helpful. Maybe a slapping on cartels event could be fun as well, but I, I kind of wanted to speed up and get to the final bit of this. Call this one the Trial of Cunning. I wonder why. You're supposed to be smart to get through this one? Is it because the enemies are all tiny? <laughs> Look how small they are. All these tanks. I went and I put on Corrosive to see if this would be the best element for me. I'm not against re-rolling to something different. We're going to try to get one run down here. Then we will... If the, if the Corrosive doesn't end up working out for us, we can, of course, exit the game, turn off the Bloody Harvest event come back and try to reload our pistol with fire damage or non-elemental or something along those lines okay this lucky seven if you don't know I, I basically rinsed the entirety of borderlands 3 endgame with it yesterday so go check out that video if you didn't see it i got the lucky seven roll r relatively quickly into the video and then that, for the rest of the video is just basically just showcasing it so we're gonna be doing more lucky seven stuff here Masher variant. We don't want the fully automatic. The reason I want to get rid of these ghosts is because they take me, they take extra time to kill and they damage me and hurt me. So yeah, no pet out. With no pet, my my stack bot is guaranteed to always stay at max stacks, which gives me four hundred ninety five percent weapon damage, which is pretty ridiculous. And I have a whole bunch of health regen on as well. With the way my build is set up right now, I actually don't take any fire rate. I don't take anything from my pet at all. I'm completely specced into damage and health regeneration. Now, I could get more health regeneration, but as for right now, this is, I would say, good enough. Wow, this is taking a, a while to get through this. This 257 runs. Man, this might be a, this might be a long farm. Later, kid. Unless we get it first try. That'd be sick. The parts that I've chosen for my Skull Masher are relatively specific because I'd, I'd want it to be a boss shredding beast. The annoyment, I can always reroll. But I want to get the right parts. 1 in 257 is a little ridiculous. Who, who's, who's left back here, huh? Oh, a tank. Okay, now it should be open. No, one more. Okay, no, there we go. Very sick. So it looks like one more segment before we can face the, the Tink of Cunning. In true trial mode, Mayhem 11, I have my bar on. No, no, nothing so bad about shooting those ghosts for now. I don't know exactly what kind of HP bar the Tink of Cunning has. This is my first time running it on my flak. It's been so long since I've run them all. I was thinking about bringing out my Moe's and doing it that way, but... I want to use this Lucky 7 build more. It's just such a cool build. You get the Lucky 7 with the Terror ammo regen anointment on it and that gives it the infinite ammo you need to sustain the magazine and then it handles the rest it handles all the damage it handles all the action skill cooldown handles anything you could possibly want to basically one shot Wotan with it 
it took me several magazines to kill Hemovores and Vermivores, but it wasn't like egregious. And when it comes to Grave Ward, yeah, we one phased them, so. In Slaughter Shaft, we made it through pretty much no problem. We didn't get to get to phase five, round five, because I I thought maybe if I could save quit and come back, it would save my progress, but it definitely does not. And I don't want to save quit now and go disable my broken or my bounty of blood event. Because if I as soon as I do. Fallen Guardian? What the heck? Did you see that? I had an objective to destroy that dude. Okay, kill boss with 25 minutes remaining. I don't think I can do that. Okay, the Tink of Cunning, he is a red health bar, which makes me a little bit nervous about my corrosive lucky seven here. But again, it's a it's a lucky seven with Revolter. It's going to do some good damage, regardless of... Regardless of what element we, we use with it. This is for, for a true trial. This is really not so bad. I might find a better trigger finger right now, but... Finger's a little bit tired from Skull Masher mashing. Okay, I hope I don't go down to this guy. That would be rough. Why I threw my grenade? The world may never know, because I'm pretty sure that reset my stack bot. And without my pet out here... Let my pet out here. It's a little bit dangerous to be doing what I'm doing now, but maybe I do want to run the fully automatic one. Just be careful with it. <laughs> Keep going. What I could do is talk to my king or queen's call and try to run it that way, but then I have to refresh my lucky seven. That's not a bad. Does he really get a hold of the health bar? That is ridiculous. Come on, we got him now. Give me out of the first run, please. All right. 100, 1 in 257 chance. We got a Skull Masher. We got a Sickle. Okay, so for this Skull Masher, we want to get specific parts, okay? Go ahead and inspect it. Let's go to parts. And I notice now that my odds are covering up parts of it. But let's go to the... The barrel. This barrel is supposed to roll. It's supposed to roll a bunch of things on it. I don't. Doesn't look like it got it. This is the scope accessory though. This might give it the plus ten percent crit. We got. We're gonna have to be judging it based on the other ones that we get. So there's our first skull masher. It's not the best roll in the world, but there it is. And we got a nuclear sickle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head. We're gonna save quit. We are going to go to the events tab, and then we're gonna count up a run by one. Congratulations, we got one run done. Turn off the bloody harvest. Events disabled, and we continue. Now we're gonna have to re reload our lucky seven until we get the one that we want. So hopefully we can get ourselves a fire lucky seven. Because it seems like that's gonna be the most important one. Let's activate true trials mode. Oh, I'm, I failed the mission actually. Because I saved quit. I will chill here, and I don't necessarily care about finishing it in this in a certain amount of time. Oh. Which one didn't I get there? I'm not sure. I don't think I got the splash damage. So I'm going to be trying to go for a fire damage lucky seven here. And I might even try the automatic one. Who knows? Maybe we could try to sustain it for a bit. Okay, we just rolled everything but element. I think that we might be able to try this one. This is going to be everything but elemental. Hopefully this works out for us. Let's get the ammo regen going. I do not want to burn through all my ammunition. Watching it very closely. With Revolter, this might not be feasible. We might have to do something a little bit different. How about a Frozen Heart? I think with Revolter, we're going to be shooting a little bit too fast. I could try Super Soldier, but Super Soldier gives you fire rate as well. Super Soldier gives you ammo regeneration. But it also gives you fire rate. So I'm not sure how effective this will be at... At maintaining our ammunition, but we can we can give a shot. Our damage is going to be a lot higher now because this gun shoots way faster than I can ever hope to shoot with my finger. I think three shot fadeaway is still the way. There we go. We got lucky seven on as well, so we just kind of rip. Honestly, this fire rate, this one might be the way. If you run like a super soldier, 
You might even... Ha I mean, I'm having enough ammo regen. As long as I am focused on... Not wasting ammunition. This Lucky 7 could be... Even better. Oh my gosh. Later, kid. I'm still at 21 magazine. Yep. As long, I just, I just gotta make sure I don't hold down the trigger for that long. Yeah, see, it does burn. But it does build back. Especially with the super soldier active. Holy cow. It's like it's meant for it. It's like a pairing. Built in heaven. Oh. Jeez. Three shot fadeaway is what I'm rocking. Because I can just get in and out of fadeaway much, much quicker. And honestly, I'm not going to be able to hold down the trigger for more than those amount of shots anyway. This is just as utter ridiculousness. I just want to put that out there. This is the goaded setup. This is the goaded gun. How fast can this thing kill the Tink of Cunning? Non-elemental might even be the best way to run it. That being said, if I'm rocking non-elemental, I don't think I want to have this pet out that's giving me elemental damage. You know, it doesn't make much sense to me. Why don't we just go Jabber? Give me movement speed and critical hit chance. And then Taunt enemies. I'd rather just have the... Oh, I'd honestly just rather have the, the movement speed and health regeneration that fadeaway gives me for longer. So even when I'm not in fadeaway, that'll negate some of the some of the down the downsides of using three shot fadeaway. But basically, I have fadeaway all the time with my auto crits with my ha movement regeneration and my enemy in my. Pet taunts all the enemies. Like, I basically have Fadeaway active all the time right now. Okay. Last segment before we get the boss. This might be a lot faster now that we've kind of optimized it a little bit. Oh, my. As long as I'm careful about where I'm shooting, nothing has stand a chance. So far, I've seen. Oh, no, it's the aggro tank. Okay, we're going to see against this, this larger boss to see... Uh, how much damage it can actually take. Am, am I going to be able to continue to use this without reloading? And speaking of reloading, let's go to my mouse and keyboard and take reload off star. Or off of R and make it star. Just in case we get the itch to reload. Okay, thank you, Super Soldier, for everything you're doing for me right now. Wow. Yeah, we, ha we are regened out of our gourd. 20 run around magazine on a lucky seven is the way. Ooh. I am the end game. Oh my gosh. And we have a one and a half chance, so a, a 0.5 chance. A one half chance to get the skull masher from the Tink of Cunning. From there, you can basically just take whatever my odds are divided by two. So every time it does roll, we'll have a 1 in 128 chance, something like that. Okay, really low on ammo already. Is it faster? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure if this is faster. Maybe we do go Revolter here for the bonus damage. Just got to be really, really careful with how we spend our... Oh, yeah. Yep, it's Revolter. Really careful with how we spend our ammo. Oh, my! Oh, sh it's, it's, that's Shredtation. They, got, they call that Loot Tink Shredtation. Got to be super careful with how we're spending our ammo. That's all. So for basic mobbing, it's Super Soldier. For bossing, it's Revolter. Ooh, got close. Got close. Playing on a knife's edge here. I can't I can't cancel the reload. It won't work. Playing a dangerous game right now. I can probably go a little bit harder. Oh my gosh, this gets so scary. This is one tanky boss, tell you what. Okay, I'm basically just waiting for a magazine to go back up to 
a certain amount and then kind of just rinsing you know it's basic strategy look how fast we get back actions kill by the way there we go think of cutting down there's two runs now we're gonna have to figure out oh dead eye a oh, skull masher okay so that's a really nice anointment let's compare it to my other weapon so on a basic compare old one is better but i gotta figure out with these parts because it's supposed to be barrel gives me damage and crit so let's let's go into this into this new one and see what these parts are so you can as you can see it can roll two barrels unless that's a, that's a scope attachment so it looks like this barrel could should have rolled parts but the, oh no it, it's the fire rate barrel it looks like i rolled a double fire rate barrel that's pretty interesting okay magazine is eight the scope is minus 20 percent accuracy okay we want the scope to be damage the stock we want this to be damage as well and the foregrip we want this to be damaged so nowhere near a god roll but hey not a bad roll after all um i don't think i want this sickle let's go ahead and cash in our chest and then we will see if we can get away with fast traveling back here maybe to redo the quest i'm not sure does the quest reactivate back behind me doesn't look like it maybe if i reload my mayhem Okay, let's see. Anything good here? No. So if I fast travel back to the proving grounds of the proving grounds of cunning, will it reset this quest? Because if I save quit, I lose my rolls on my. Does it reset the quest? No, it does not. It, it might have to be a save quit, but I will try. I will try sw swapping my mayhem, even though I don't think this will work. But I want to at least try swapping my mayhem because then I can keep my lucky seven rolls. I want this automatic one now. Oh my gosh, it does work. Beautiful. Okay, so let's swap back to mayhem 11. There we go. And now we're on two runs. Two runs and we are ready for business with our lucky seven fully automatic. It stays that way now. Beautiful. I'm so happy that's how that works okay back to our super soldier maintain that ammunition good friend make sure we get the true trials mode activated let's do it 25 minutes is supposed to be or 25 minutes remaining a five minute run I just, how's that even possible you know enemies are tanky I could rinse them fast with a revolter, but then I won't have the ammunition regen that I need. Oh my, if the summon thing is not a badass or something like that, like it's going to get absolutely wrecked. Okay. The way we just get our actions go back so fast, it's just a little bit OP. Smash get some iridium while we're here. Because we're going to need to re-roll our Skull Masher when we get it. More than likely. 150 over 90 sounds good. Tamar, I kind of want Terror Ammo Regen on everything I do now, to be honest with you. I'm completely down for Terror Ammo Regen on just about everything. Bad news is that it's really hard to get the Terror Ammo Regen on most guns. But if you can just sustain a, like a, a weapon's ammunition through terror, like, yeah, it did, never go back to reloading again. But having to burst <laughs> with this gun, I mean, I prefer it to having to mash all the time, especially for this kind of challenge. But you don't need the full burst. In fact, many times I go without it. Later. Okay. Going strong. Good. Did 
very nice. What we can do is see what we can expect the weapon damage to be on a max damage roll skull masher. And then we can compare that to the ones we get. And that way we can tell at a glance what we're looking for. But I kind of like delving deep into the parts and understanding what they do by, you know, the first time you go in there, you don't really know what you're looking at. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Not close enough, though. I know what I'm doing. I found Guardian. So wait, wait, hold on. Has that fallen guardian always been there? I feel like that's like a Borderlands 4 thing. And like the fallen guardian is who fell out of the sky in the trailer. But there's a board of them, but there was also like a mask there. I don't know. Like Pandora invading other planets and turning them into Pandora. That'd be kind of cool. Like, Pandora just, like, instead of being that planet that everyone, like, took advantage of, Pandora turns into this, like, monster. And it's being headed by, like, who, do, who does performs weapons manufacturing on Pandora? I think Atlas does. Jacobs might. It's like this, this Pandoran super army. Of Vault Hunters just rampaging through the galaxy. And they've gone completely corrupt. And we, as the new the new guard, people, we're just out there looking for the vaults. And saying, there are a million Vault Hunters heading at us. And they're here to take over the town. They said, they're, they're going to search anywhere and everywhere to find vaults. And it's our job to shut them down. And that means shutting down Lilith. That means fighting Moe's. I could take down Moe's. What I'm worried about, honestly, is Maya. Well, Maya's already gone. Oh my gosh. So sorry. Oh my gosh. That's toxic. Yeah, spoilers. Sorry, Maya. Sorry to the Maya enjoyers. Okay, get rinsed. We have all the damage we could possibly want. Kill the Fallen Guardian. Look, we got that done. Out of the way. You're gonna want to go Revolter here. Revolter. Let's get it active here. Take that. Oh, I reloaded. I got it all the way down. Dang it. What I need to do now is go back to my keybinds. Controls, keybinds. I knew I wouldn't be able to do it. And swap back, reload to R, so I can run around just reloading like normal. Okay, that was pretty close to being good enough. There are options. I've got more options now. I'll, t I'll take, I'll take fully automatic. Listen, bro, I, I don't want anything to do with you, okay? I'm trying to reroll my, my lucky seven. That's why you always take reload speed on your lucky seven. That's why we wanted a max reload speed one. Even though that sac we sacrificed some damage. You got this. Come on, bro. I want to thank my pet for doing all the things out there. Just tanking the everybody. Okay, now I'm getting shot at. I get my action skills. So that way my pet will taunt again. I think I, I get three free reloads. Or I guess two. One and seven, not good enough. Just one. One and four. Fully auto. Just splash damage. Come on, something decent here. Elemental and lucky seven. Just crit. Okay, that's everything but lucky seven, but lucky seven is required, so. We need to activate our action skill at some point. Yeah, especially because we're getting collapsed in on. Yeah, there's the Tink of Cunning. Take one shot. Come on, give me something good to eat here. Give me juicy. This is the price we pay. This is the price we pay for using the most power crept guns. Oh, all five, baby. Now what? Uh, it's corrosive though. That's a little bit underwhelming, but. You're gonna eat it anyway. 
That's still good damage. That's not bad damage at all. Okay, let's get to max ammo here. Do a ripper. That's just how we'll do it. We'll get the max ammo and do a ripper. Max ammo, do a ripper. Back to max ammo. Don't stand right next to me, pet. <laughs> Your job is to stand far away from me. That's not bad. No reload either. Okay, I'm still revolted. Oh, I did reload. I can't believe it. Okay, hey, pet, start tanking again. With the revolter, it's so hard to control. I gotta be even more careful. Okay, well, why don't you just use like a monarch or something? Okay, I just got... This is fire. No, it's not fire. Let's say if that was fire, maybe I could use it. Automatic crits, lucky seven, elemental, splash damage, fire rate, want them all. I got all five. It was if it was fire, it was absolute god roll. Whoa. Not cool, bro. Get my health regening. Let my pet tank up. This is gonna be a tough farm if, if we don't get a better uh system here. That should be good enough. I mean, this should be good enough. Oh, well, we go down, but we should be fine here. Pet will find us and revive us. We have extra damage while standing still, so let's utilize that. Stop it, bro. It looks like if he if he gets to you, he just, like, melees you with whatever he's doing. Okay. I think he might be a little, little bit tankier now. I'm slowing down big time. Oh, it's hard to match for so long, you know? Almost want the fully automatic version, like 100%. You know what? I hate you. I'll be back. Fully auto is now required. We got fully auto, but no lucky seven. Trial of Cunning, man. This guy is tanky. He's tanky sauce. I have a mind to come back here with like a king's call, but I don't want to swap weapons once I start, you know? Come back here with something a little bit more, you know, a versatile. But this is supposed to be versatile enough. It's the whole point of the build. Keep, keep reloading. The magic is in the reload. Run. Oh. Okay, get this reload off. Okay, I got everything but lucky seven. It's not, it's not good enough. I need lucky seven. Lucky everything but lucky seven. Uh, everything. I want to roll and then fire as well. Okay, so we didn't get splash. Do we need splash? Good question. Don't think so. This shock, which is a little bit rough. What can we do? Do I have the right... I have the pistol damage one on. Okay. Here we go. Don't burn through all of it. Just some of it. Yeah, that's, those are big chunks. Those are big, big chunks. As long as we're patient with it. We'll get them down. It'll take a few, it'll take a few rounds, but we'll get them. And he gets tankier the lower he gets, I swear. Yeah, we reloaded too. What a troll, but it's okay. We're going to get it this run right here. A sickle. Two sickles? Yeah, a storming and a vengeful. Okay. Well, I saw a droog in there too, but I'm not taking that. Let's go up at one in the counter. 
and we're gonna swap our mayhem mayhem 10 this is gonna be a tough farm we want to get a really really good skull masher and the way things are looking right now with our lucky seven build is that next video we might come back with something a little bit more versatile something really meant to take this guy down the king's call could be it okay we rolled everything but splash again and it's fire okay that's pretty good oh man that's pretty good did we switch back to mayhem 11 i did very cool and the quest is right there ready for us no let's not accidentally reload shall we yeah, let's get some terror going oh my gosh good night there's one stack fallen guardian look for the look for the the vault mask i didn't see it oh we go down to that that's crazy thanks pat i knew i kept you around for a reason we're gonna take off revolter and i'm gonna go to the frozen heart here we go we won't we don't get the extra fire rate from the super soldier but we don't really need it And that way, whenever we activate our action skill, we'll be freezing nearby enemies. Can we spend that iridium? I don't have my cryostone or anything active, so I won't be getting that much. Where are you at? Hey, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay. Good night. I'm happy that I also went and turned off the skulls event or the, the buddy harvest. Where are you, homie? Where'd you go? Tough enemy to see. Tough enemy to kill. Get back with the full ammunition because of the terror mechanics. Good night. Holy, that damage. This is, I, I guess like having a max damage Lucky 7 wouldn't be bad. But I, I just don't want to know what it would be like. To try to reload one of those bad layers a million times, you know? Just... I, want, I really go for that fast reload. In fact, in my skill trees, I take reload despite... All throughout combat, never reloading at all. I did, however, unspec all my fire rates, so I have none of my fire rate in my skill trees at all. But I think you only have one fire rate skill in general. Oh, come on, aggro tank. Don't do that to me. Okay, so we finally got ourselves a nice fire. Fully automatic one here. It doesn't have the splash damage on it, but I don't think we need the splash damage. Trial of Cunning. Look at that. We're, we're sustaining this really well for mobbing. It's when the bossing starts. We have to be careful. It's, we have to basically... We're not reloading, but we're basically reloading, right? We're, we have downtime. Okay. Bring it on. Now I feel comfortable that, you know, with this fire one, we should be able to, doing a lot, able to do a lot more damage, especially once we get the Revolter going. And now that we have elemental damage boosts, let's go ahead and slap on the, the spider and scorcher. Makes sense to me. Three shot fadeaway is still the way, I think. Personally. So I don't think we'll be able to hold down the trigger long enough to make the, the longer fadeaway matter. And I want my action skill back more to apply more terror. So that's why we do it this way. Say goodbye to your turret. <laughs> Our ricochet damage is intense as well. Gotta be careful about shredding down multiple tanky enemies like that. Okay, when they get frozen, ho 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 man. Just such free pickings. Good night. Badass goon. Sneak up behind him. He's got no idea and he's gone. <laughs> Back in the fadeaway. Pet took care of that, laddie. Thank you. Right, let's go fight ourselves a tank of cunning. Oh, what'd you give me? A laser splitter. Very cool. So, let's slap on revolter. Let's be smart about this now. Do not overshoot. 
Do not overshoot. Like maybe having my grenade be its, be in its piss grenade with the terror generation annoying would be pretty sick. That's all we're gonna do. Just like that. He's already down a third. A lot better than we usually do. Just like that. Very simple. Do a short run. Short taps while we wait for action skill. Hit 21. Just like that. Short taps while we wait for action skill. Beautiful. Get 21. Short taps, wait for action skill, get 21. Okay, sometimes my action skill comes back up right away. Get 21. Oh, oh. Make sure you aim for that crit. Oh, missing is not good. See that? Even if I swap away and swap back, I lose my buff. Dang it. We're going to have to try to get back what we lost. It's the lucky seven that's killing us. Something good. I'm in the heat of combat. Okay, that's actually not bad. With the vaulted, I might even get the job done. Nope. No rolls at all that time? No rolls at all? Okay, every, everything but auto crits. But if we have fade away, if we have regular fade away active, Maybe that will get the job done. Who knows? Dang, I lost my fade away. I just activated it. Here we go. Let's enter it. Let's should get our terror back up. There we go. It's not bad damage at all. Get back into fade away. Our terror is maxed. Really not bad. We can go ahead and reload it. Looks like we got we got corrosive anyway, so. He doesn't get three health bars, does he? He's like, he just refuses to die. There we go. Oh my goodness. The lucky seven, and when it doesn't roll, the good rolls is pretty atrocious. Fully automatic splash damage. There's no lucky seven on that one, but. Let's see what I got. Looks like I got... Did I get lucky seven? No, I only got one projectile. Okay, so. You gonna drop me what I've asked for? Doesn't look like we got one. This is where you can also farm a boom sickle. So we go another run. We may him in, we may him out, and we're gonna have to reload again. One day we will learn not to overdo it. But maybe not today. <laughs> Alright, let's run it back into mayhem 11. And that is four runs in the books. Four out of 257 on average. Okay, let's reload. <laughs> I never get the what I want. Okay, give me everything with fire element. That would be sick. Ooh, just one and seven. Not going to get the job done. At least one, two, and seven is what I need. We can do this. <laughs> this is why we take the extra reload speed. This is why we got it. Okay, everything but elemental. I might try this one. It's not elemental. It's got splash. It's got everything else we could want. Let's go ahead and take off our Volter and put on the... Frozen heart again. All right, let's go. And because we have auto crits on, let's go for a little bit of fun here. Let's slap on rack attack with cryo racks and extra racks. Let's go. Rack attack with cryo racks and extra racks. There we go. So this should help me mob a little bit better because of the novas I spit out. Boom. This guy, not, this guy just doesn't care at all about getting Novid. Where'd you go? It's harder to see, though. A little bit, like this. There we go. I'm gonna get you with my racks. 
Look at that. Beautiful. Max skills are up pretty much all the time. Because the lucky seven is always critting. So it's not just getting my Megavore procs up. Like, say you... I think what's what the... Um, what the Monarch does is it fires like the 8 or 16 projectiles, right? And then that's what gives you back your action skill fast because 20% of them are mega boring. So getting those crits and then those crits gives you back your action skill. This gun just shoots 7 or 8 projectiles always and they always crit. So it's just like a much more consistent action skill experience. And it's a Jacob's Pistol, no less. I'm like, yeah, it's everything you could want. Honestly, I think if without getting fire, I think this is for this for this specific challenge. I think this might be second best, not elemental. I think fire would be the absolute best, but not elemental is definitely I think second. Okay, night. This time I got a little bit of splash damage. Let's go. Not very much, but it's something. Be frozen. I feel like I'm, I'm clearing these guys out pretty quick. You're gone. Get frozen. Oh, of course this guy doesn't get frozen. <laughs> Look at him. The ricochet is killing enemies around me. Or who's shooting at me? Just keep. If I see dots around me, I can't tell who it is. I just spam the action skill button. You are one annoying guy. You know that. I'm gonna start pinging you so you're easier to track. Ping them so they're easy to track. Good night. Where's the fallen guardian at? I haven't seen no fallen guardian. It might change where they spawn in every time. The one thing about rack attack is you don't get the taunt after exiting fade away. You will be getting targeted a little bit more. But you do have the frozen heart to kind of get the enemies off of you. There is no okay. <laughs> We're about to have to span through my gun a little bit faster now. I'm basically mashing it at this point. So I do not... Is that enemy dead or alive? Oh, there he is. Oh, both of you got frozen. That's unlucky. Gorgeous. All three of them. Look at that. And you too, homie. Looks like this guy can't get frozen. Or he maybe just has more resistances to it. That wall blocked it. Oh, that guy definitely could get frozen. Nice. Now my my icebreaker auto idle relic that I use sometimes when I'm not wrecking like a Jacob's Company man or something like that. It has cryo damage on it, so it actually makes my shield do more damage when I pop it. Which is super nice. Like, look at that. Every enemy that we go up against, we can literally just freeze them. Okay, so no Fallen Guardian this time. Interesting. Alright, let's be super careful now. Do we need to use Revolter? I would say yes. Based on just the overall damage that we have seen. I would also slap on... Fade away for bonus damage. Okay, ping him. Fade away me. A couple pot shots here and there. That's just tap fire. It allows me to gauge it a little bit better. Good. Looks like if I hit regular crits, it does more. Could be wrong about that. Keep him, keep him pinged. Okay, there's one health bar gone. Something I just realized that I have my ping button on the same on my mouse wheel. I click it down. Oh, and my swap weapons is close to that. So we got really close to 
draining our magazine completely empty there. Gotta be really careful. Hey, who are you attacking? Just to attack the boss. Let's go a little bit at a time. That way we don't have to spend so much more time. Trying to reload our weapon between every round. This is still pretty quick for a true trial. Just saying. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. That's probably our cleanest one yet. A skull masher. Let's check out these parts. I'm not going to swap. But I see a whole bunch of melee damage on it. We know that this isn't going to be a god roll. What I do want to check to see is what these, where this accessory is coming from. So let's go check out these parts. Body accessory damage, fire rate, reload time. I understand. I think these are always the same. Damage, fire rate, and reload time. Is that always the same in all of them? Damage, fire rate, reload time. Damage, fire rate, reload time. Okay, those three, all three come the same. The barrel can roll two accessories. This one has fire rate, fire rate. This one has critical hit damage, critical hit damage. Okay, that's the, that's the two we're looking for. We're down for that one. And this one has, for barrel accessories... Two, and it's damage with melee damage. And accuracy. So actually the damage isn't even bad. I have to check a loop. I'm going to see if that's a viable combination there. Now for the scope, I'm looking for a six times. Okay, for the stock, that five times damage or five percent damage is nice. And then for grip, we want something that has damage on it too. So, okay. Not a god roll or anything like that, but a decent roll nonetheless. We do not say it quit. We go to the Proven Grounds. Again, I think... Oh, wait. I think we failed the mission. Is it, You have to succeed the mission or something? Oops. I wonder if I, if I mayhem in and out. Will it restart the mission for me? Let's, this is all for science. I don't want to have to run through the whole area again. Okay, it looks like it did reset it for me. Thank you. Even though I sh definitely should be opening that chest at the end. I know that I should be. So it can have really good stuff in it, but I just didn't, so. Let's get another run in. Shall we? The Skull Masher. We can always try a more... You know, we can try different kinds of builds that make it easier for us. Make sure we're on true trial mode. Ammo's not a problem. Still have our lucky seven amp shots. We can take off our Volter. Although, if we're careful with it, we should be able to still use our Volter. So let's just try it. It should really speed up the clear. My only worry is that we're not going to have enough action skill cooldown, but what am I, who am I kidding? We're definitely going to have enough action skill cooldown. So, this will also help me get a better feel for how many shots I can shoot. Here we go. Action skill active. Three shot fadeaway is just fine. Here we go. One shots are us for real. And pet taunting the whole map obviously is enormous. Oh, -ho. yeah. This, let's just revolt to me for a while. I'm, I mean, I'm at max HP. Do not swap away. Do not use your clockwork res to get your pet back up. Come fight for fight for my life. <laughs> I did that once, never doing that again with the lucky seven. It's like, wait, I swapped weapons. No, oh, I even said easy. I was like, oh, it's so easy as I was doing it. Okay. We continue on. Where's that fallen guardian at, huh? Hiding? That's what I thought. Oh, good night. Good night. 
Okay, what if thinking about the the Borderlands 4 trailer, what if what if it wasn't Lilith that sent the moon somewhere else? What if it was a different entity that pushed the moon into Pandora when it was supposed to have this big shield around it? And then Pandora gets completely invaded by guardians or by Iridians. Like 100% invaded. Kind of cool. And there's, you're battling for the home planet of Pandora. Like, you're even teaming up with, like, people like Handsome Jack. That'd be kind of cool. Like, the Guardians are deciding that they want to just wipe out all all life on the planet. Because of because of how much meddling the people of the planet have done with the vaults. They're like, you know what? They know too much about the vaults. All they're doing is killing the, gar the monsters. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. There could be something cool there. Listen, I don't give out free advice. If Gearbox wants to send me an in oh, I'll send Gearbox an invoice. Oh my goodness, you give me the revolter on this bad boy and it goes like strictly to the moon. Speaking of the moon, help us. I've been watching a little bit of Jolt's Dude, K6, Spartan Game Zones. They all put out a very similar video of like what BO4 needs, like their wish list videos. I guess they were all waiting on BL4 launch to post it or something like that. And listening to some of the things they said, a lot of what they say makes a lot of sense. And some of the things I'm like, I don't know if I completely agree with everything being said here. But they all, they all said a good story. Like, that was something they all put. Which I guess, you know, that's a sentiment that a lot of community shares. I just want, I would say, less story. I don't know. Let's go. And of course, you had of course the the killer six take that. The the big one that he mentions, or he mentions a lot of ones, but one of the ones he mentions is he wants the enemies to always scale with you like they did in Wonderlands. So like yeah the main story will still have it's like it's it's difficulty and you you'll still be behind if you don't like, get proper amounts of xp but when you get done with an area he wants people to go back and farm that area for all it's all it's uh, unique loot you know all of its dedicated drop sources and as much as i l like how easy that would make things wow that was loud whatever that was as much as I like how easy that would make things to go back and just keep farming for your dedicated loot. The game is already so easy. Like, I feel like that would just make it so insanely easy and it would stop you from trying out new guns. I know that the player always has a choice to try out new guns. But a big part of like how you discover new guns is by having to say goodbye to the old ones. You know? Like, oh, I could go back, but in Borderlands 2, right? The dust was a really cool location because... The dust acts as like a highway between the different between the different zones. Is this guy still still tanking up? Holy cow. The dust acts as like a highway between the different zones. And that means that when you unlock new zones, you can go to the dust. Or when you when you unlock a new mich mission or a new chapter of the story, when you go back to the dust, a lot of the enemies there will be leveled up to make it a harder challenge as you traverse through the dust to get to your new location. That meant farming things like the Layud Milo and the, the Varuk from that one lighthouse after the Good, the Bad, the Mordecai. It's really good because those specific weapons keep dropping at higher and higher levels. But something like the Kerr Blaster, which drops from the southern shelf from uh, Mijmong. That only drops like level five or six and you can't get a better one unless you farm uh, loot tanks or loot midgets this is pretty good damage i'm not even against this damage this is a nice chill farm now that i'm being a little bit better at conserving my shots i could probably be going a little bit more aggressive obviously oh wow pet should be able to come help me out though while i'm down i'll just take pepper shots
He deserves it. Alright, Revolter. Stand still, get more damage. Revolter. Here we go. Now the enemies around me are dead. Okay, a Skull Masher. Cool, and it has Digi... It has Digi Clone. Let's go ahead and check these parts out. Skull Masher. As I see critical hit damage on there. I see melee damage. Let's go check these parts. Body accessory, reload time, damage, and fire rate like we always expect. But the barrel accessory is 10% damage here. And weapon swing accuracy. I don't want this barrel. Magazine is fine. 8 round magazine. The bolt is always going to be the same. The scope accessory, there was none here. I would like the 6 times for the extra damage. Oh, here's one. 20%. I have to see which one of these... I'm going to check the other ones. Which one of these have scope accessories? Let's try this. So scope accessories. Critical hit damage is what I want. Okay, critical hit damage on that one. How about this one? Parts. Scope accessory. Accuracy and nothing. Okay, how about this one? Scope accessory. Don't have a scope accessory. No roll at all. And then our newest one. Digiclone active or... Oh, this one is the one I just checked. No, they had two scope accessories, just 20% accuracy. So I'm probably looking, I think I'm looking for crit damage on that. The stock, reload time, and accuracy, is that the same on all of them? Stock, reload time, and accuracy. Stock. Accuracy size and mag bloom. Okay, so you can get different stocks. I thought so. And the stock accessory, is it always minus 30-30? Let's check all the different ones. Stock accessory. Minus 30, 30. Stock accessory. Nothing. Oh, that's scope. Sorry. Stock accessory. Reload time. So we can get a lot of different... We want to get damage. Is what we want. Okay. Let's mayhem in and mayhem out. Let's not fail the, qu the, the quest this time. I got the boss kill within 20 minutes. So that's less than 10 minutes per run. It's really not a bad farm. You get a decent amount of skull masters to look at. Who's stack bot? Oh, friend bot. Okay. Seven grenade capacity. It's kind of ridiculous. Rack commander. Okay, a big boom blaster or a hot drop victory rush. Okay, hey, nothing here for me. Let's change the mayhem level. And I think I'll go for one more here. I have some editing things to cut out of the video, so I think one more run will put us right at about an hour. Let's see how we can do. We get a one run up. This should be a fun farm. We get to use the, the lucky seven that I farmed the last run and use it here. The one thing I think I would change is I would get the anointment on an it's piss grenade instead so that way I can debuff this boss and make him take 12% more damage and when I throw the grid in make sure that I'm in fade away because I think that might make it crit it might not all right let's go get the revolter out anointed aggro tank we won't even start with you because you'll make us feel bad about our damage there we go anybody else home good night where are you at? I know you're in that right corner somewhere. There you are. A lot of tiny enemies here. Okay, you're gone. Demolition tank. Right there. Making it look easy. I mean, things get insta-melted now. This is Mayhem 11, by the way. The whole build is set up for this. Oh. That's with the revolter too. Like I say, it's not the revolter's not doing a lot of this damage because it's usually doing the most. But even still, it'd still be shredding these guys. Okay, where's that fallen guardian, huh? Good night. That's just a stackbot doing his thing. Okay, I found you. This time you don't get to hide. Thank you, Pat, for doing your thing. Oh, we'll see ya. I feel like with how much damage we're rocking, like how do you even finish this faster? We even have, we do have ricochets. 
Wow. Okay. This is it's just an incredible setup. It's pr it's pretty fun mobbing. Not gonna lie. I mean, they're tiny little small tanks, but it's making us better at the game. Okay, rinse you. Got a little fireworks going off. It's kind of cool. Multiple of these guys should go down every time I land shots. I'm not shooting nearly as much as I was with that fan the hammer. Version of Lucky 7, but hey, here we are. Later, homie. No Fallen Guardian. I, I, I'm not going to be looking around everywhere for it, I'm going to be honest with you. Move to slightly to the side of where we were before. Oh, that's a three for one -er. A front loader? Does it have you red? Front loader with shock damage on it. ASE shock is decent. Because you can use that ASE shock for. Iridium farming. Because you put yourself below 50% health with the with the front loader shield at all times. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. you can actually have a gun with the U-Rad anointment. So while you're under 50% health, you get bonus radiation damage. And that will give you radiation on your melees. Which makes it so when you slap your Iridium, you get more Iridium. And then ASE shock anointment will give you... Shock on your melees after your action skill ends. And you just use rack attack. Hit a wall. And you melee. And you try to just stack up as many different elements as you can. Radiation with U-Rad... ASE shock, ASE fire. And you use a cryo stone as well with the commander planetoid. Use a com so you basically use a commander planetoid with the cr with a stone prefix. And you can get a ton of elements going on your melees. Revolter also works, but the revolter takes the slot of the of the action skill of the uh, of the front loader. So, it's 50-50, it's really. But you have to keep activating your Revolter by activating your action skill, which I guess you're doing anyway. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I wanted to get a ping off there. Don't want to accidentally swap weapons. Okay. You fired a lot of bullets there. Happy tap tap. I'm gonna try three shot. I'm gonna try bigger fadeaways here. I think that might be our ticket. We can get our action skill back pretty quickly. Let's try to run all of our bullets through this guy. Okay, not bad. I'm watching I'm watching my magazine very, very closely. Get 21 shots here, guarantee. I don't know if that is better or not. 21 shots. Okay, that was not bad. Night. Okay, activate my action skill. We're only going to get time for one anyway. Okay, we take those. That's pretty big deeps. I'm not sure if it's better or not, but it's pretty big. Okay, get all my shots. Ooh, close. Close, playing on a knife's edge right there. There we go. Keep tap firing. Get my action skill back. Okay, gonna get you. Don't reload me. Dang it. We're gonna have to fight again to get back a good roll here. Not good. Not good at all. Let's go three shot fade away. Three shot, fade away, and pet taunts. Dang it. That's not the way I wanted to end it at all. Give me something good to eat. At least I can get revived by my pet. Or I can just get revived by one shotting that dude. Need to enter fade away. Give myself some time and space. Okay, reload me. My pet should taunt eventually here. Give me something good to eat. Do da do da. Okay, 
Okay, so we got everything but splash damage and it's fire. Okay, cool. We have ourselves. We ha we got back our previously used weapon here. No splash damage, but it's fire damage. It should still be very strong. Yep, still very good. I want to get back on my fadeaway. I'll stick with three shot fadeaway and taunt. Make sure we got a revolter up and active. Don't run. You'll ruin the taste. Okay. Maybe we can do rip some of these guys real quick. Thank you. Use our fadeaway just to reposition. Fadeaway to reposition. Fadeaway reposition. No, a reload. Hey, it's last run. Last run anyway. Come on, finish him off. Okay, come on. Get this guy. Get this guy. Enter fade away. Crit damage and splash. Get him. Without, with all of our bonuses, it's, it's a little, lot worse of a weapon overall. There we go. Is that lucky seven too? That's lucky seven. Does it have auto crits? I don't know what this rolled. It looks like it rolled something good. Is it shock? Really can't tell. Okay, so let's see a skull masher. We got a fade away active skull masher. It's got it's got fire damage on us, which is a little bit sad. This is a non. Okay, there's it, no. It's not the crit version. Okay, don't say. Uh, not the conversion, but it's still good. Still very good. It's got splash on it. It's got automatic. Might still be okay. So let's check out this this last skull measure that we got. Fade away active. So body, fire rate, reload time, damage is what we expected. So we got this melee one again, which gives us plus 10% damage. This isn't the worst thing. Eight round magazine, but minus 10% damage, which is tough. What does the magazine say on the card? Max size four, max size four. Max size 6, max size 8. So if I go to my magazine on one of these bad boys, it will say 8 round magazine, but it won't be an 8 round magazine. It will say 4, it will be a 4 round mag. These are 4. This one is the bigger one. It's 8. That's why its damage is so much lower. It gives us hope, but the rest of it's pretty good. See the scope? Nope. We don't get the 6 times scope. We don't get damage on the stock. We don't get damage on the foregrip. Okay, not the highest damage one, but it's a cool fadeaway active one. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. We'll get used to rocking this, rocking this lucky seven and make sure that we don't burn through all the ammo. And we'll probably get a second build or two over here to maybe speed up our clears a little bit. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, again, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.